Welcome to the T700 T701 CD Virtual Engine Project. This product was designed using SAP VEA software and 3D Studio Max to create a virtual and interactive version of the T700 T701 CD engine. This product enables the student and instructors to manipulate a virtual engine in real time via a touch screen or mouse. In engine free play mode, seen here, the instructor is presented with a non-animated 3D version of the engine. Currently, there are two versions of the engine to select, depending on which type of hydromechanical control unit, or HMU, is installed. This mode allows the instructor to rotate the engine along any axis to show the entire exterior. It also allows the instructor to slice the engine along various axes, which can be changed on the fly. Once an axis is selected, the slice can be moved along the selected axis to hide or display various parts contained within the interior. While in the cross-section selection mode, the engine is still able to be rotated for easy viewing. By selecting the home icon at any point, the instructor can easily reset the engine to the starting position in order to make a different selection or exit the cross-section mode. Note, the cross-section mode can also be deactivated by touching the cross-section icon on the side menu. In engine free play mode, the engine is designed to allow for the selection and removal of individual external parts for closer inspection. The selected part changes color for easy identification and viewing. The program allows the user to easily zoom in and out of the engine environment from any angle in order to display a closer and more detailed view of an area of interest. In engine modules and components, the engine is broken down into its four basic modules. Each module is individually selectable. In this example, the accessory section module is selected. Within each module section, there are more options available to further display the various components contained inside each module. Engine systems are subdivided based on their function. Specifically, fuel, oil, air, or electrical system. Here you see the oil-related components. In engine system and flows mode, the initial button selection displays a transparent version of the engine showing the selected system and its internal components. Components in each system are labeled to allow for easy identification. Within each system, Another selection allows you to view a 3D flow of oil, fuel, or air in flight. While in this mode, the engine retains the ability to be rotated to allow for better viewing. You are also able to use the zoom function to get close enough to the transparent engine to see the direction of the flow within the interior of the demonstrated system component. Selection of the Airflow Quadrant Views button displays four selection buttons. Each shows a cutaway view of the solid engine displaying the flow of air and rotation of the rotors inside. The air temperature is represented by color change as it progresses through the engine. Selection of the engine start button allows the instructor to use a split screen. On the right, the primary flight station components involved in the engine start procedure are seen. On the left are two engines with a cutaway view of the interior. The procedure is lockstep to show what happens within the engines, as well as the MPD screens as the engines are turned on in sequence. 
Any items that cannot be easily seen on the engines are separately magnified and displayed in a detailed view with directional indications of location. At the end of the startup procedure, the instructor is given the option to restart the procedure from the beginning. For purposes of this video, the entire process is not displayed. This program is designed to allow the implementation of step-by-step -step remove and install procedures on the engine. In this example, we are removing the IPS blower. Text instructions are displayed and selection of the hotspot will trigger the animation of the step occurring. As seen in this example, special tools can be shown being used as required. During these procedural animations of the engine, the instructor or student can rotate or zoom in closer to the engine for a detailed look as in the other modes. This allows the user to view the animation from multiple angles and magnifications. The user can go through the steps in sequence or select a desired step individually and review it. As in other procedural modes, at the completion of the procedure, the procedure can be reset and replayed. 